Happy New Year. I Happy think New Year. First fabulous Friday for 2023. Yes. Happy Friday, Ashley. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to everyone who's tuning in. This is our, I don't know, 12th episode? Yes. I think. Yes. Yes. Let's yeah, go. we were not ghosting, promise. We no. were just very busy with life and health and other thing, but we would not skip uh, saying Happy New Year to mm -hmm. all of you. So, Ashley, what are we here for? What 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 this podcast is about? Yes. So our podcast is called Fabulous Fridays with Ash Lee. I'm Ash. I'm Lee. And we get together on Fridays and basically just talk about everything that you're already talking to your girlfriends about anyway, or maybe, you know, the women at work at the water cooler and it's, you know, hard things you're going through, fun things you're celebrating, literally everything, because honestly, as women, we're doing it all and it's nice to have support and Lee and I support each other and we created this podcast so that you can join us and we can support you. Yeah, we're and making a movement. We're yes. making a movement. Yes. Women support women. And I think so critical. And sometimes we think we're alone, especially if you are running a business, if you are doing a solopreneur, if you are running 15,000 direction in one day and you think nobody understand you, please mm -hmm. know that we understand you. We're yes, just we like you. Yes. And that's why we're here to give you support Definitely. and to get support from you too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so Ashley has been really grateful. She's a dear friend and we get to know each other and yet we have not met each other in person, not but yet. I know she's like a sister to me and I have trust her completely. And this is not overnight. It, it takes a lot of um, sharing. Mm-hmm. A lot of yeah. heart wrenching story to get us to trust each other. Yeah. And that's where we are here. And we we want to be vulnerable. We want to be honest with you so you can trust us like we are trusting with mm -hmm. each other. Exactly. And I think sharing and then the listening, just me having Lee as a witness to my story or what I'm going through is so helpful. And yeah. yes, I think that's exactly. And what look, I'm look, 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 who just got a new book? Ashley, <laughs> she just tell us about your new book. It's so okay. exciting. It's called, this is the author copy, so ignore the thing. Uh, anyway, it's called Winning Online. And what it does is it's for entrepreneurs and small business owners. Getting online, anything digital marketing can seem so overwhelming. And at the beginning of the book, I do list out every single way you can use digital marketing. But then I also tell you, don't do them all. <laughs> if you tried it, you would spend a year's worth of your budget in one month. And so, but I do want you to know everything that's available though. So I go through that and then basically we walk through and I did this myself and actually got new clients like following my own advice. I was so excited. Um, but anyway, we walk through, how do you figure out what your clients want? How do you figure out how you're going to make money? Because at the end of the day, you can do so many things online, but if you don't make any sales, it doesn't matter. Um, and so we walk through all that and then we walk through how to make a message and basically you can just write in it while you're going through it. And when you're done, you have an entire strategy and you know exactly what you're going to do tomorrow, exactly what you're going to do. And that's, that's it. That's book. Listen to this lady. She know her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that's the safe S word. You're looking for. <laughs> she is good at what she's doing. And um, she has helped me in so many direction on social media and other things. So if you have a company and you feel like you're lost in the sea and you don't know what direction you're going, definitely get the anchor and Ashley can be your anchor or can be your compass yes. that point you to a direction that where you want to go. Exactly. So with and that said, winning online. Yes. And good segue, building your own boat having an anchor that has been Lee for me. Tell us what you're doing early this year. I mean, you have a lot coming up and I just want to put a plug in real quick that a lot of the things that you have coming up have been things that have helped me in my journey. Oh. And I'm excited that other women will get to do this with you. So sorry. Okay, go ahead. Oh no, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, 
it is wonderful to be able to celebrate two new years in one month. So we just celebrated our Chinese New Year. So there's two head start, right? You, you have to start fresh. And this is the podcast we want to encourage you. I mean, you don't have to wait until New Year or Chinese New Year. You can start any day, make it a start day. And that's what I did the last two months. I've been purging, decluttering. And that's what you need to, because if you want to have room for growth, you got to make room. You can't stack up the full house and you don't even have a walkway. How can you drag new stuff into your house? And that's how I explained to my mom. It's like, you have stored everything on your cell phone is all full. You can't put it anymore. And just like us. So what, what I have been is decluttering. And also so many things that you have within you that you keep looking for new things. Sort out the treasure that you have, all the lessons you learn, all the gifts, the talents that you have, compartmentalize them and, and put them in categories so you can teach others, so you can share with each other. So I am, I am putting a course together and it's going to come out in the middle of February, I think 15, but that yet to be announced. So this is the first time I'm telling in public and I'm so excited. And the course is just to help us to be free, mm -hmm. to declutter our, our stuff, our mental, uh, everything that we have so we can absorb new things. And um, it's, it's the road to freedom, to the journey to freedom. And I'm here in this country for 43 years and I thought I was free, but yet I still have a cannonball dragging on my leg that it wasn't completely free until I've actually acknowledged that the one I, the things that I want to do, I have not yet done. And that's not free. If you have something that you want to do, but you're afraid to do it, do it, be free. Mm -hmm. So um, so that's what I'm doing and it will be announced. But if you want something to declutter your life, I am giving away a 50 tip uh, of letting it go, letting things go to declutter your mind your heart so you can make room for new growth so yes. that's what I'm giving so uh, I'm gonna have to hurry up and put it on my website so if you go to leetran.com slash free not today maybe tomorrow I will have that on um, I, I will have that ready to give out do you have anything to give out to um, Ashley I have yes I have a 14 days of social media post download and nice. it gives you a ton of ideas and it gives you a worksheet that you can start planning everything. So yes, I do have it on my website. It's not obvious though. So I will make it obvious too. And we can also put the links in our um, show yes. notes too. So we will yes. do that. So that's easier for everyone to find. Yeah. So yes. we want to be here to help. And we're here not just to help each other, but we want to be here to help women across the board. And I know is always a handful. Of so, so many things to do. But if you know that there's a source that you can tap into to streamline line your day, to be productive, to, to um, lift you up, why not join us? Yeah. Yes, I love it. So today we want to be short, but sweet. We're going to talk about our BHAG, our big, hairy, audacious goal for this year. And that is called the BHAG. So what is your BHAG for this year, Ashley? Besides, you just did one. I mean, in the beginning of the year, and she got a, a book coming out mm -hmm. already, and it's available on Amazon. Please go and check it out, download it, buy it. And um, yes, you know, I, yeah, know I, I have two goals. One of them is I am kind of redoing my system with clients. There's been some big changes in digital marketing and I'm getting everybody shifted over. So that's a huge goal. But my really exciting goal is I'm writing a book this year. Well, another book. This one will not be about digital marketing. It's going to be more of a personal kind of a book. It is for women. And it will basically be helping um, usher women into what I'm calling their villain era. No, I'm not asking you to be evil. But I know that as women, as we set boundaries, as we stand up for ourselves, and as we create safe lives for us and our children, we are often kind of vilified by family, by society, by church, by work, everybody. Yeah. And so this book is basically going to be us walking together into our villain era to set our strong 
like strong structures around each other and support each other, lift each other up, and just to give you more control over your life as you do these hard things. And I'm so excited. That is so sweet because it is not easy to be somebody who categorizes you as a villain or a mean person. But sometimes you need to put up those guards in order to protect you, your children, and the people you love. Yes. Um, so, you know, people have their opinion to say whatever they want to say. But yes. is it true or not? You have to decide it on your own. Exactly. And you have to, to say that, you know, it is fine if that's what how they see it. Because people don't really see who you are. Most of the time they see it because the reflection of themselves. Exactly. And don't be a doorman. Don't be a doorman. Be and you, yes. You are the only one who has the most clear, biggest picture of where you're going in life. It's you. So, exactly. So we're bad. gonna help yeah. we we're gonna hold Ashley accountable. Yes. And we're gonna have progress report, right? And yes. um and you know. I think it is a healthy thing to have accountable partners. And mm -hmm. we have been partner, accountable partner for almost a year. Yeah, I think it'll be a year in April or February. March, April or February. One yeah. of those springtime where things that I've lived in, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the days are bright and continue to be bright. And I think Ashley have enriched my life. I have to say um, thank you so much for being there. For yes, thank you. being a... <laughs> For, for be a spot for that a bright spot that I always be able to tap into yes. um, when I have digital questions, problems, or even just in general and uh, everything that, that I struggle with in the daily life. Mm -hmm. We need that. We need somebody to have, yeah. it doesn't have to be your sister because sometimes your sister, your aunt, your family do not understand you the way that other people understand you. Exactly. So, you know, you can create exactly. your own family and yes. sister. I mean, Ashley is my sister. Right. From a yes. different mother and mister. Yep, exactly. And I was just saying this to Lee actually before we are on is that when Lee tells her story and when she's teaching and leading, she makes me feel seen. And when I leave Lee, I want to be seen even more. Like I want my light to shine. And I saying this as a segue of what are your big goals this year, Lee? Because I know that in 2023, you are going to be impacting the lives of so many women. And yep, let's hear it. What are you? It's going to be a milestone year for me. I I make a mark that I will be out more in person and I'm getting out there to speak live not through the lens of the camera, which is still good. I'm, I'm still going to do that, but I always want to impact person, you know, face to face. And it feels so good when you're able to do that. So I already have spoken, you know, several stages and I want to do 60 stages and even across the country or the continent. If people are paying for me to fly there, they want to tell my, hear my story. I'm more than happy to do that. But start with the grassroots local. And mm -hmm. so far, I have been done quite a few. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to speak at my local library. And uh, oh, nice. yeah, yeah. So that's exciting. And like I said, I want to do 60 stages. And I'm, I'm linking arms with people across the state, across the mm -hmm. nation, so I can go visit them and speak and be part of it. And um, many event will be popping up and I'm cooking a storm with a bunch of things see you know you don't got a boat you build your own and yeah. I live I live with my own advice that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna build my own thing so what Ashley if you want to build something at an event in your place I'll be more than happy to do it and okay. you know and if you have an event you want to have Ashley and, and I coming out um to speak to inspire your audience with digital with mindset with uh, support, mm -hmm. we'll be more than happy to do it. Yes. yes, I love that. I am so excited to see everything you're going to do this year. And I think, you know, one of the things we were talking about is we do have big, big dreams this year. And finding your support system is paramount to your success. Oh, cool. Honestly, it is. And so we were going to just list through and I'll let you start, Lee. When you think of the person that you go to for the best support, 
what are you imagining? And also who do you stay away from? Because I think that's just as important oh, yeah. when you're talking yeah. about your goals and your dreams. Absolutely. So there's a few critical things that I learned. You know, I have to pay money to learn. And mm-hmm. sometimes it is good to pay money because you're investing, you're not spending, right? I'm talking about investing and in, in spending. And you investing in yourself, you learn so much better. First of all, you got to open your mind to be coachable. And, and I, I love to do that. And secondly, if you go to a person to give you advice, you need to go to someone who's been there so they can take you there. You don't go to someone who just talk and not walk the walk. Right. So, don't ask for directions from someone who never left home. Exactly. Yes. Yes. And if you go to ask, I've got like a handful of sisters that I know that who are genuinely support me because they love me, they lift me up and they have the same mindset mm-hmm. of being, you know, uplifted, positive. I want to go to those people. Mm-hmm. I don't want to go to any, no offense, Debbie, but I don't know why they could call Debbie Downer, but you, <laughs> I'm not talking about Debbie, but I'm talking about downers out there. You don't want to go to any of the downer mm-hmm. people because what they do, they're like the crap. And I hear the story, the crab just gonna drag you down when you wanna get out of the brush hole and the crab just keep crapping, just keep grabbing your leg and drag you down. Exactly. You don't wanna go to those people who don't see your value, who don't see your potential mm-hmm. and who do not support you wholeheartedly because all they do is judging you. Stay away from those people. Mm-hmm. Find the people who, who in the same boat, it's actually, actually the best because they appreciate you because they're in the same boat. They also want to excel themselves and be accountable partner with them so you can both row the boat together and, exactly. you know, exactly. go in places together. Yes. And I think when people first start out, you know, they have a big dream. They're so excited they turn to the people who they would normally turn to every day, which could be Uh, family, it could be close friends. And honestly, those are some of the worst people you can turn to. If you think about your family, they came from the same background as you. They, the same families, the same situations, they don't want you to leave a comfort zone that they have found for themselves. And it's scary. It's scary for them. It is very scary. Mm -hmm. They also have their own blocks of, if I grew up in this family, I can't do this. And then they say, you want to do it? No. Yeah. And they love you. They're not doing it because they don't love you. They don't even realize that they're holding you back and they're saying hurtful, hurtful things that will, will totally hold you back from success. And so you have to really look at that. Even some of your closest friends might not be set up to do that for you, you know? Um, so don't, you know, be angry with them. Don't cut them out of your lives. Just know that when it comes to making big moves in life, there are certain people you work with. Yeah. And you have to really monitor the negativity, even to the point of if you think their facial expression is going to change in a way that pulls you back. Rolling and, eyes. and <laughs> Yes. Or even if they're like, you know, like, just so you're going to support yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Stay away from them because they don't get it. They don't and see the dream. Not, they don't see the BHAG. Yes. They don't see the BHAG. Um, and no matter how much you explain it, they're not going to get it. And honestly, if you keep trying to explain it, they're probably going to get even more frightened and fight you even more. So you just got to find that. That doesn't mean that all sisters, all mothers are not supporting you. I mean, if you see that somebody who actually get you, go ahead and open it to them, your family. But what Ashley and I'm saying is that most of the family members and your close friends, uh, your, you know, some, some someone has been in the same path and they have a different kind of Mm -hmm. mindset. And when you change and they see you change and they are afraid that they're losing you, Mm -hmm. you are not you anymore. And they will try to protecting you by talking you back to hold you back, to be the comfort person that they know who you are. So, Mm -hmm. you know, just, just test it out. Just Mm -hmm. uh, don't, completely being beat up because somebody say that oh come on I don't think you can do I don't think that's you like are you sure did you Uh think through this did you think through that why are you doing it this way yep they don't know who you are you know who you are so trust your own gut 
Yeah. Like That's we were saying thing. earlier, you are the only one who knows everything about you, who knows your big picture. Right. You know what you can do. You know, you're amazing. And the other thing I would say is just be ready. Like, as you tell people your goals and your dreams, you are going to come across some people you're like, oh shoot, I thought they were going to support me. And it turns right. out I'm looking at this like confused, icky face. Yeah. And now I feel horrible. So right. what are you going to do after that? Just be ready because it, it is going to happen. You can't hold grudges. You can't be angry. You are going to walk away feeling down about yourself. So build yourself back up, get, just get everything ready and then think, okay, are there associations I can go to? Cause they're going to be like-minded. Who can I talk to? Because people are out there. They do want to support you. And there are people out there who will be so impressed at the risk taking that you're doing that you're making they are going to be so impressed with your dreams and they will support you and yeah. just keep working keep finding those people and just keep working on your dreams yeah it's, it's going to take a while to find the right people that you can tap your energy into i mean there's yeah. a lot of people who praise you butter you up and they don't they're not sincere you can right. tell how much support they are to you by watching what they do and what they say yeah i mean what probably more of what they do than what they say so exactly. yes. Um, so exactly. be careful. Don't just trust everyone blindly because things can get sabotaged pretty bad um, if if you put the trust in the wrong place. Right. Yep. So exactly. um, yeah. But this is what we want to say: New Year, new goal, new habit, new mm -hmm. dream, and dream big because you dreaming big or small is the same amount of energy. Why not right. do it big and find somebody who actually can see your vision? Yes. We you. both have a book sitting on Amazon right now. How many people would have said to us, well, how are you even going to do that? How are you going to do it? Like, do you even know how? That's so much work. You have a story and I'm coaching story and you have a social <laughs> media life. Yeah. Ashley is really good at that. How to be productive and not getting sucked in by the social media and being, yes. you know, by the there's, there's just, yeah. yeah, there's just so many things. So reach out to us and connect mm -hmm. with us. We do have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. It's called Inspire Starter or, yeah. or Build Your Own Boat. Yes. BYOB. So, build Your Own Boat. So we're in both places yes. and uh, we hope to connect with you more this year and tune us in. And we're going to try to promote more because it's my bad. I really didn't promote this podcast last year, but this year it will be different. Yep. And it we're going to make more impact with you joining us. So yes, happy new year. Happy new year. And let yeah, us know how woo. we can support you. We will hype you up until you are sick of us. So <laughs> let us know how we can support well, you. Join us. Yeah. Be in our Facebook group, reach out, be friend with us. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we are here. Fabulous Friday, at least once a month, if not twice, but yes. we don't want to over promise and not deliver yeah. last year we tried to do twice a month mm -hmm. and sometimes life happens so we only did once a month so uh we we're gonna have it up as many times as we could but at least once a month yes that's our promise to you yes Yay. all right have a wonderful starting of 2023 go yes. get your BHAG yes go get your BHAG and happy Friday everybody and happy Friday and share a friend. Yep. Share with a friend.